Okay, so for today, um, we have our quest, which will open up here in about 15 minutes. The quest uh, is similar to today's POD that we just did. Sorry for those of you watching later, I forgot to record the POD today, uh, but you can see it on the completed slides. Um, for today's quest, one thing some of us learned from the practice quest is that you have to hit this green OK button after each problem that you finish. If you don't hit the green OK button, it will not register that you've done that problem. Okay, so for those of you who haven't done a lot of these power school assessments, if your teachers are using Google Forms or all the other formats that people are using, all right, um, you might not have experience with it. I wish Noah was here right now because we were having issues with that um, on Wednesday. All right, so that's what I learned about these quests. So we will do a little bit more review in addition to our POD that we just did. Um, the quest will be due Tuesday at 5 p.m. All right, so some of you um, have asked to do some other things after class today. So some of you uh, were having some issues with other assignments for this class. Some of you had questions about assignments for other classes. So I'm gonna stay online after class today and I will answer anyone's questions and help them with you know, all the different things that people emailed me about this weekend. Um, and then you have until Tuesday at five. Yep, Xavier, Tuesday at five, and it's due. Now, here's another little insight for you about the class. It's our last major assessment. And what I've done is I've set it up that you can take it and see your score. And if you'd like to retake it and try again, you may do that. And it will record your highest score. All right. So if you mess up or whatever, you didn't, some of you like breezed through the practice quest and you did terrible because you didn't take it seriously. Um, so with this quest, you know, if you have issues or you do it and then you want to try again, you may do that. All right, so we'll, we'll let you take it twice. All right, any other questions about the quest? It is on our Power School page, uh, our class page on the front. It's at the very top. It's the first thing you'll see when you get to our Power School page. And I can show you that here at the end. Um, the next thing is I just want to review one more time what is happening this week in general at St. Ignatius High School. This Friday is technically our last day of the semester, okay? So Friday is the last day, and the materials will be presented, assignments will be assigned, things like that. And people or teachers will be wrap wrapped up by Friday. Um, from there, May 18th to May 28th, are, is the time where teachers will accept work with people who maybe had a hard time in the beginning, got behind, had internet trouble, whatever the situation, maybe you were sick, whatever the situation was, um, the 18th to the 28th is that time where teachers are going to accept work and would be happy to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. So for those of you out there who maybe had a rough start, okay, please make sure you recognize that you don't have to stay up till two in the morning every night this week to get caught up by the 15th. You do have a little bit of a cushion in that May 18th to May 28th. Now, I do not recommend you wait till May 27th to try to finish these things. I would prefer, because I know I'll be working with a few of you on some of this, that that week of May 18th, let's get it done that week. All right, let's not go into that next week after Memorial Day, okay? With the students I'm working with, we're really saying the week of May 18th is when we're gonna try to get these things done. All right, David, did you have a question? Sorry, I thought I heard you chime in there for a second. Okay, all right, so, if you still do not pull it together, you will get an incomplete and you will have to do an online course this summer. 
okay? And we do not have summer, you guys don't even know about this, but normally if you don't pass a class, we have summer school on campus and they're not doing that this year. You have to go through this company to take the class, all right? There's no option to take it at St. Ignatius, all right? Uh, Wednesday, June 3rd is when report official report cards will be posted. Now, for the May 18th to May 28th, this is not just for students who are failing. Maybe you have a D right now and you know you should have a B. You can be working on things and getting caught up as well. All right, so this is for students who are not in a place where they are proud and satisfied with which for anyone in this room, if there's a class where you're like, oh, if I just had a little bit more time, I could get caught up on a couple things and go from a C plus to a B minus, then use that time to do it. Um, Owen is asking, what grades do you need for summer school? You need to have failed the course. So you need to have below a 60, okay? So not passing the course would be the summer school. Um, Owen, are you asking about a one-on-one -on -one with me tomorrow? Or uh, I'll, I will check while we're on the Kahoot or something. Um, all right, does anyone want to ask any other questions about, about the- I have a question. Yeah. Uh, so like, let's say like for you, if we meet on you with like with you on like the 18th, like, do we have to ask other teachers to meet in between that time period? Yeah. I'm, if, you like, want, if you want to work with them, yes. So if, like, right. you are missing things from McCafferty, you'll say, hey, Mr. McCafferty, I really want to get caught up. When can we meet online? Okay. You can also, you know, if you email him and he says, do we have to? Okay, so say you say, Mr. McCafferty, I know I'm missing my alchemist paper and the brainstorming um i'm gonna work on those this week is there anything else i need to do and he says no work on those things and turn them in you don't even have to set up a zoom meeting but just mm -hmm. be in touch with the teachers where you're working on their work so jamarian okay. if you feel like you understand what you need to do then just email the teacher say this is what i think i need to do uh you know for mr emancipator i need to do this lab, this gizmo, this thing, this thing. These are the things I think I need to do. Mr. Emancipator, is there anything else I need to do? And then um, you can take it from there. So Jamarian, you might not need a Zoom meeting. I'm more concerned with people who are working on English papers and don't know what to do is my main concern. You know, if you have a huge assignment, a huge lab that you owe, or a project for Mr. Mecker, and you don't know how to do it, then you want to set up a Zoom meeting with Mr. Mecker and have him walk you through it. But if you know what you need to do, and it's just a matter of doing it, then just send an email to that teacher and communicate that you're aware, these are the things you think you need to do, is there anything else? It's on board, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. That was you, okay. Javo, Jamarian, does that make sense to you too? From your question okay all right uh wednesday will be our last fundamentals of algebra class okay we ha will have one last assignment and you'll have time to complete it um we'll just meet and just sort of celebrate um our last class together this is a weird last class so uh, i do want to have one more day that we're all together i want to explain this the last assignment we'll have time in class to do it um, and then that will be it. So with that though, one, one more item of business. Uh, let me pull everybody's screens up here. People need to turn on their cameras and we had a big birthday this weekend and we need to sing happy birthday. Where's rock rock? Where are you, man? Let's see your face. There's Henry, good morning. Raquel, are you there? Rock. Rock, are you there? We're not singing happy birthday if you're not even there. I'm here. All right, on the count of three. 
One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Have one. I don't see your lips moving, Henry. Here I come. Happy birthday to you. All right. Rock. Happy birthday, man. How was it? Hey, it was okay. It was okay. All right. All right, team. We are going to do about 10 minutes of review. Um, and then you guys can go take your place. All right. So you, you are going to uh, get on Kahoot. So we have Miss a quick, I, I have a quick question. What's up? So if like, does every other teacher know that like we have that time period to make up work? Yes, every, and that has been very, made very clear to us. We just got another email this morning from our principal to remind us. And, and also, so let's say if like you fail a class, right? Like do you still, do you have to go to summer school or could you have just like you do the like the 18 to 26 days and make up and try to like get, bring your grade up. You would, if you're failing a class right now, you would use the 18th to 28th to get caught up. All right. It's, it's if you're failing on the 28th that you have to go to summer school. Oh, okay. So the 28th is, right. is the day. All right. So you're going to go to your play Kahoot and let's grab, and then we'll get in here. Ooh, so loud. All right. All right. So this is our going to be our Kahoot review. Well, uh, Kaden, are you asking about your teachers giving you extra credit? Probably not. They just want you to do the stuff you're missing. I mean, that's the first and foremost, is do what you need to do. And then like, if you're right on the border between like, say like a C plus and a B minus, maybe then they'll give you extra credit. But otherwise, no one's gonna give you extra credit if you haven't done what you're supposed to do first. What if you don't have any missing work, Caden? Uh, is that what you're asking about? Then I would ask your teacher. Yeah. Then I would ask. I wouldn't, if you are missing anything, don't ask. But if you are missing, if you aren't missing anything and you're just trying to boost your grade up, I would ask. It's not, I mean, they, cause especially because we have a whole week this week to grade stuff and do stuff. So it's worth an ask. All right. We've got Luke, Poe, Robbie. I'm taking that to Caden, Joe, David, Amir the math goat. Henry, what happened to Rock and Jamarion? What do you mean? My laptop uh, got, my laptop said it's booting up. Oh, okay. Can you at least see the questions, Rock, so you can just play along for for fun? Right. Here we go. If people still want to join in, the, the pin will be at the top. All right. All right, you are solving this inequality at the top. Solving the inequality.
right. Nice job, everybody. We're going nine out of nine. I already need to do this one. Good work. All right. Poe in the lead. Nice job, Poe. All right. Here's your second one. 3x minus 7 is greater than 12. Oh, and we're meeting at 2, 2 o'clock tomorrow. All right. So on this problem, we have a few of you not quite sure. 3x minus 7 is greater than 12. Can somebody tell me what your first move is here? What do you do first? Subtract. Uh, you said, uh, no, you add 7. That's you a add 7, problem. yeah. So we have 3x is greater than 19. And then divide, it, uh, divide 3 to 19. Divide by 3. So x is greater than 19 thirds, which is the green yeah. square. All right, so looking at the blue, someone got mixed up. I clicked the wrong one. Oh. I had the right answer, but I accidentally just clicked the other one. All right, be careful on that quiz today. All right, uh, let's see what we got next. All right, ooh, Owens. Owens creeping in on Poe. All right, here we go. 4 times the quantity 2x plus 1 is less than 16. All right, x is less than three halves. What do people do first on this problem? Multiply. Multiply. What'd you say, David? Multiply. Four. Yeah, so David multiplied. Multiplied what? Of uh, four and two and four and one. Yeah, what's that? What's that type of multiplication called when you give it to two things? I think. The what? Distribution. Yeah, distribution. So some of you distribute, some of you love to divide first, and that also works. But we'll do it David's way. We'll distribute and say 8x plus 4 is less than 16. Make sure you distribute it to that 4, uh, to that 1. 8x is less than 12. All right, someone other than David, what's next? I got it. Can I say All right, David, keep going. Divide by eight. Divide by eight. So X is less than 12 eighths. Well, I didn't give you 12 eighths as an option. So David, what do you- simplify, so keep going. Yeah, what, what goes into 12 and goes into eight? Four. 
for, thanks Amir, and thanks David. I see Amir in the chat down there. X is less than three over two when you divide both of those by four. All right, good work. Okay, Owen is creeping in on you, Poe. He's less than 10 points behind. David's in there, Luke, Amir, the math goat. All right, here we go. All right, so six of us are on board with X is less than five. Okay, on this guy, uh, what would I do first? I do it or anybody else, Scotty. What? I can do it if nobody else. <laughs> I know you can. I'd like to hear from somebody else. Like, uh, Polis, you're getting all these questions right. What did you do first? Um, well, what I did, it was like, um, I'm just really smart, you know? I know, but can you tell us what the first, what'd you do with this 4X and this minus 2X on the same side of the equation? I added them. No. Nope. Yeah, four plus negative two. What is four plus negative two? Um, it's, Four plus negative two. <laughs> All right, four plus negative two is two X plus 10 is less than 20. All right, Joe, what would, we, what would happen next, Joe Kellers? Um, we would subtract 10. Subtract 10. So if two X <laughs> is less than 10, and then last step, Poe, back to you. If you have two X is less than 10, what do you do to get rid of that two in front of the X? Um, you multiply, no, you divide. Divide. So X is less than five. X is less than five. All right. That's how I got my answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Owen has taken over. All right, we're coming to Owen next for our next explanation. All right, <laughs> here we go. Oh, all right. Negative 2x plus 10 is less than 22. Oh, 
All right. So my guess for the three of you that picked x is less than negative six, you forgot one important thing about this problem. So on this problem, after you subtract 10, you have negative two x is less than 12. Okay. What yeah, do you I need to do? Do it right. I see. Yeah. You divide by negative two, and the two negative make those switches a sign around. And when you, yep, when you divide by that negative, this sign needs to reverse. It needs to flip around. Okay, you need to switch that inequality sign. So now I have x is greater than negative six. All right, so that's a really important fact. Anytime you multiply or divide both sides by a negative, all right, you need to reverse the inequality. All right. Okay, we, we have time for a couple more. We'll do a couple more, and then if people want to stay on and do more, I'm also going to post this Kahoot, because I don't think we'll get through all the questions. So if people would like to do additional problems before you take the quiz, like you don't have to take the quiz today. You can take it later this afternoon, after you do more practice. It's up to you. Oh, Owen, tough break, man. Tough break. But David is creeping in now. Watch out, Poe. Here he comes. All right, here we go. One half x plus five is less than 13. All right, on this guy, um, let me see here. Okay, so one half x plus five is less than 13. When you subtract the five, okay, we're subtracting five, subtracting five, we have one half x is less than eight. My guess is this is where people got stuck, okay? What is the next step here? How do you undo? multiply by two? We're going to multiply by two. Yeah. So multiplying by two, two over one cancels this fraction out. We have x is less than 16. But if you were someone, you're like, wait a second, I thought I divided by one half. That's my guess for those of you that picked diamond, picked x is less than four. So for those of you who were like, wait a second, I'm going to divide both sides by half. That's true. Okay. But let's not forget when you divide by a fraction, if I am doing eight divided by one half, that's the same as doing what? How do I actually do eight divided by one half? Eight divided by um, two? Half of eight or four, right? And eight divided by four. Not eight, eight, not eight divided by. Times. I'm going to do eight times two over one. When we divide by a fraction, eight divided by a fraction is the same thing as eight times the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of one half is two over one. All right, so that goes back to our fractions unit. When you divide by a fraction, 
you have to multiply by its reciprocal. If I have eight whole and I'm changing it and I'm cutting all the eight parts and I'm cutting them all in half, now I have 16 parts. Um, all right, so I'm gonna end the Kahoot formally with the big group because it is 1015. I know some people have 1030 classes. Um, and then if people want to stay on, like Kaden, I'm gonna help you with your video. Zambor, we were gonna talk about a couple things. Amir, I didn't know if you wanted to stay and do work on your project. Um, who else? David, if you want to talk about English. But you are welcome to stay. If people want to keep doing Kahoot, you can stay and do Kahoot. Other, and otherwise, you can get off, work on your quiz, or you could do your quiz later when you have more time, especially if you have another class. Does anybody want to ask any questions before you go? How do I get to the quest? OK, good question, Amir. Here, I'll show you guys before you go. Um, so I'm going to go to my power teacher page and it'll look like your page. Just give me a second and I'll show you where it is. Um, so just like your end, my end takes a million years all the time to load. It drives me crazy. And all right, so here is my fundamentals of algebra page, and I go to my class pages. All right, so on class pages, this should be the, the page that opens up, our online learning page for March 18th and May 15th. Here is our inequalities quest, and it is right here in this blue link, okay? Again, you don't have to take it right now. You could take it this afternoon. You could take it tomorrow. Um, but you do need to do it Tuesday by 5. All right. Amir, are you good now? You know where to find it? OK. All right. People that are still on, um, can people tell me what, if, do people want to keep doing Kahoot? Or do people want to work on other things? Let's finish the Kahoot first. You want to finish the Kahoot? Yeah. All right. I want to get this grades. All right. So we'll work on the Kahoot. All right. You tell me which inequality. Kaden. Kaden, are you on your laptop or a um a? Can you get on your laptop or a Chromebook? Missing okay. Okay. Kaden, we'll get yours done. Don't worry. All right, the three that are left. If your computer is dead, you can charge it. Yeah, can you at least get yourself plugged in, Hayden? All right, David's taking over. All 
All right, you are looking good. All right, last one. Oh, no, we have two more. So which number, oh, thanks, Amir. So which number is a solution? Which number works? So if you plug five in there, does it work? If you plug negative six in, does it work? If you plug two in, does it work? Music really gets stuck in my head. I'm not feeling it. All right, all three of you have answered that are playing still. All right, if you plug five over two in, whoever said that, two times, oh, I can't tell if I want this. Two times five over two. Two times five over two plus one is greater than six. Two times five over two, the twos cancel, right? Two over one. So I end up with five plus one is six. Six is greater than six. That would be true if it was six is greater than or equal to six, but it's not just greater than six. All right, we've got, I think, one more of this type and then we'll be done. So, Kaden, once we're done, I'm going to show you how to put your video onto Google Drive. See, where is your video right now? Is it on your phone or is it on your computer? Yeah, I was just solving it. I just added six to both sides. I added six to both sides, so I had four X's less than negative one. And then I divided by four. I just did it the other way, the way that maybe David was talking about earlier today. So if X is less than negative one fourth. So when I think about numbers that are less than negative one fourth, the only one that would work is negative one. Negative one is less than negative one fourth. Zero is not less than one fourth. Negative one fourth. I deleted it because I thought the oh. Well, Kaden, you gotta make a new video, man. All right, I'll come back to you, Kaden. All right, my team, let's see how people did here. Who are my winners? Oh. Third place. Okay. What? Wow. David. <laughs> wow. Luke and Amir are my runners up. All right. Let's take a photo of that. All right. How do I get out of here? All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. So that is it for our our Kahoot. I can post, I will post it for people, especially for people who weren't in class. Um, are there any other questions people have about the quest before I help and troubleshoot some other problems? Like first I'm gonna help Caden get his video uploaded or show him how to do it. Sorry. All right, what's up? Do you want me to leave and then come Thank back? Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome, Joe. Uh, yeah, David, it's up to you. You could stay or you could leave and come back and like, 15 minutes. 15? Okay, so I'll be back in 35, all right? 1040. Okay. 1040. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so Kaden, when you, oh, Kaden's still here. Okay, so Kaden, when you make your video, 
Where do you typically make your videos on your phone or on your laptop? Phone. Okay. Do you have Google Drive on your phone? Perfect. Okay. So like if I, if I had a, do you have an iPhone or do you have a not iPhone? Oh, your, your thing says iPhone. So I'm guessing you have an iPhone. iPhone. Okay. So for instance, um, if I had a video, if I made a video here, Here's this awesome video of me making lasagna. All right, so if I have a video and I wanna put it into Google Drive, you use your, your send button or share button, which is that first button, you click that. And now all these options pop up and you wanna go until you find Google Drive in your app. Okay, so you go to your Google Drive and it's gonna take a second to get it ready. Okay, and now I'm gonna pick which account, oof, like I have my personal account and my Ignatius account. So I'll just say, I'm gonna send it to my Ignatius account and I would hit upload. Are you with me so far? Is this helping? Are you with me, Kaden? Okay. So I would upload it, which is gonna take a few seconds here, or minutes, it's kind of a long video. So once, once you take your video, upload it to Google Drive, then, you can pick an option to share it with me. So make your video and then share it with me. And the thing is, Kaden, though, when you make your video, you can't just, you can't just have something that looks like this. You have to say, okay, first, hold on. Like if this is your problem, you're going to say, okay, first I'm going to subtract one. Show me two X is greater than 10. And then I'm going to divide by two. So I have X is greater than five. Now I'm going to draw my number line. Five, six, four. I'm going to use an open circle because it's not greater than or equal to. So I put an open circle and then I'm going to shade everything greater. Boom. Problem number one, and then you do it again for your other problem. So you have to show step-by-step step that you actually know what's going on. You can't just have a bunch of work on a paper and say, there it is. If I wanted that, I would just have you take a picture. I want to hear you explain it. That's the point of the exercise. Make sure you know what's going on. Got it. All right, you good? I can cancel this uh, upload. All right. Kaden, is there anything else for right now? Okay. How are your other classes, Kaden? Did Zombor leave? Oh, Zombor. Zombor, where are you? Oh, kid. All right. Well, okay. Well, then you can go if you don't have any other questions. You think it'll be a 70 because you're doing something to help make it a 70? What are you doing? 